Our camera lens trained on one man. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St. Mary Stadium. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Southampton up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. And the match is underway. Good, sir. Juan Bisaka. Marcial. for starters first goal of the game well as you can see it was a fairly simple finish in the end but you still have to be in the right place keep your composure and finish it off and that's exactly what he did Back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. The rumours are true, he's going to end as one. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happens. Scott McTominay. Donny van der Beek. They've won back possession. Could be threatening. Well, space if he goes inside. Armstrong. No, high quality defending. Shaw. Rafinha. Martial. He has time to play it over. Oh, keeper in control. The corner from Mario Gutzer. Not all that convincing defensively. 
Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? In behind for him to chase. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Anthony Martial. Good, sir. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Good, sir. A glorious chance. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, a second goal for them here. Armstrong. Now, what can they do from here? Superb block. Van de Beek. Fail. And played towards the near post. Well, I thought that could be menacing, but the keeper able to get a strong fist on the ball. Martial. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Keen to take it short here. Giving it a try. And the keeper had the measure of it. They favoured a short one here. Cross could be useful. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, here it is again. And they go short just to get a different angle on the cross, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. United beginning to run away with this. Difficult to stop him. Well closed down straight away. Superbly read and executed. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And a fine tackle. Good, sir. Can they slot it home? Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Manchester well, this is threatening to get out of hand. 
Just look at the scoreline. Into the advanced position. And looking towards the back post. And goal news to bring you from the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. Yep, it's a... Can he take the chance? And thumped away. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To clarify, Arsenal have scored in that game. And it's level now at one goal apiece. Armstrong... the ball away it's an intelligent run from Gareth Bale well the keeper committed himself now how about the short corner later to the box not messing around with that clearance Good, sir. Van der Beek. The end product just wasn't there. Superb block. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. The five. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Now can they counter clinically? Good, sir. And could it be Mario Good, sir? He's blocked it. So there goes the half time whistle. United in front, Stuart. Positive signs for them. Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. So the ball moving again. United having already made a big first-half statement. Aaron Wan-Bissaka. On to Bale. Mario Götze. Delightful pass. But it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Armstrong Mavididi The cross is on Romain Perrault Crossing into the middle Well, the clearance, half-hearted And I think the threat has been averted Rafinha Oh, he's left his marker for dead Foiling them effectively. Habib Diallo. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Southampton facing Spurs. Can he play it in? So deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? I well, couldn't get it past that first defender. Just the clearance that was needed. Mohamed Salisu. Bednarek. 
Really a very poor ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Immaculate placement from Mario Götze. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. 30 minutes left for play. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. Not showing good defensive judgment. It will be decision time, the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final. And you'll see it live with us here on EA TV. It's Manchester United against Atletico. Well, the second leg of that tie should be a really entertaining game. With a semi-final place at stake, there's everything to play for. Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? Goals and plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Got McTominay. Oh, a lovely ball. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well dealt with that ball comfortably. And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. It's a second goal for the Gunners. It's now 2-1 with 74 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Ibrahima Diallo. Perfect tackle. Playing advantage here. United keep it. Gareth Bale. It's with McTominay. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Shaw. McTominay. Giving it a try. Now well, he's been ruled offside. And a double substitution it's going to be. Well, Manchester United all-powerful. They've accelerated away in this one, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Well, sloppy in possession. Rafinha. Danger averted. And a goal to tell you about at St James's Park, but for which team? Let's find out by joining Alex Scott. And it's a goal for Newcastle United. They're back level. It's one all with only a few minutes left to play. Alex. Can he finish? And there is the goal to 
to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Here's a change for Manchester United. of goals, 5-1 it is and the referee is going to add on three minutes looking confident with the ball at his feet so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection who can he pick out well, no danger now. And there it is, the final whistle. It's a Manchester United victory. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today.